Anyone for tennis? Here's Mo Rocca. In the weeks leading up to the U.S. Open, as preparations began in New York for America's marquee tennis event, we went to see the athletes at practice. Running, rallying, rolling. These are tennis's unsung heroes, the ball persons. Which do you prefer, the net or the baseline? I prefer any position on the court, as long as I'm on the court. You want to get low and then push forward. For 22 years, Lorraine Fowler has been using time off from her day job to serve as a ball person. How do you train for this? You just need to make sure that your body is in the best shape that your body can be in. Cardio, yoga. Reflexes. Yes, your reflexes need to be on point. She's one of about 200 ball people working the Open, aged 16 to 63 whose chief aim is not to be noticed. Part of our job is to make the match go smoother and just not be seen. Um, and if we can make it go as fast as possible and effortless, that's great. Tennis was originally a game for aristocrats, says historian Elizabeth Wilson. Louis VIII of England played tennis, uh, Louis XIV, Louis X of France. They all were mad about tennis. I would be so stressed out being Henry VIII's ball boy. <laughs> well, I don't know that Louis XIV would have been much better, actually. During this early period, hiring ball persons was unnecessary. Ball persons emerged simply out of servants. You know, this was no problem, getting someone to hand you the ball. Tennis history in the making. Professional net amateur in the first ever championships open to both categories of player. In the 1960s, tennis entered the open era, which meant amateurs and professionals started playing together. Practicing hard, hoping to be chosen this month. And as the sport became more professionalized, so did the role of the ball person. What a thrill for the lucky youngsters on the center court for a final. In this footage from 1966, ball boys at Wimbledon, and back then there were no ball girls, are being put through their paces. So that period really inaugurates when people really had to look at how tournaments run, who is umpiring. So this was all part of something that then included ball boys. Before they became tennis royalty, John McEnroe was a ball person, as was a 12-year-old Roger Federer. This year's open call for U.S. Open ball persons was held in June, and I'm guessing you saw this coming. Last name is Rocca, R-O-C-C-A. I just had to audition. Our starting position, our hands behind our back, away from the net. The mechanics of the job were quickly explained. Run out there as fast as we can, clean, pick it up, get back to our position here. It takes six ball persons to work a match, two behind each of the baselines and two at the net. Should a point end at the net, the corresponding ball person springs into action. Quick like a bunny. Careful not to stomp or squeak. Quiet. Then rolls the ball towards the baseline ball person who services the player all within 25 seconds. <sighs> when the balls aren't in play, they have to be handled carefully. The ball people actually can't put balls into their pockets, so we just put them behind our back. We're trying to get the ball three quarters. Tian Noble is the U.S. Open director of ball persons. Does it help if you have long fingers to hold a lot of balls? No, so there's six balls on the court. Typically, the most you'll have at one time is four maybe five. Well, that's a lot. Can you hold three balls in one hand? Yes. And these balls are flying fast. Some ball persons can get hit if they don't get out of the way of the tennis ball. I mean, last year I had some fractured fingers from trying to catch some serves. At last year's Australian Open, Rafael Nadal accidentally hit ball person Anita Birchall in the head. Wow. Oh, oh boy. See the young ball kid, it's been hit. But there is no crying in Grand Slam tennis. What do you look for in a ball person? I want the ball people to be attentive, um, have a great attitude. I think you made it. Alas, this year, you barely even broke a sweat. 
Yeah. My best wasn't good enough. I'm ready to be put into assisted living. <laughs> <laughs> After that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that didn't get a good.